Hi, it's me again with CorelDraw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file. They're trying to reduplicate something I did the other day about uh, putting an item around a circle. But they sent me this. It looks good enough, but it's a bitmap. It cannot, it will not work. It needs to be a vector file. So I did, I took it upon myself to trace this and it traced really good, so easily, easy peasy. Now we need to set this and move it out of the way twice, three times. You know what, I'm gonna back up. I don't like doing that. I'm gonna set my, he had a set factor set on four. I'm gonna have mine set on 12, and I'm gonna nudge that out of the way. I am gonna left click, right click, and then I'm gonna take my item and go what he was trying to do. We kept emailing back and forth. He said, it just doesn't work. I didn't know it was a clip art. Go to the envelope tool. You've got it selected. Go right here to create envelope from. There it did it. Now it doesn't really matter because it was almost the size it was. Hold down the shift key and then go CE on your keyboard. At that time, I'd go ahead and get rid of our box. And now we can nudge that right over. And what that did do, it put it right to the edge or close to the edge of our box. Now we can take this, we can close this, we can go up to Windows, Dockers, and Transform and make sure you have rotation. And we, this is 12 degrees because he angled it six degrees. So six and six is 12. And we need 30, but we've already got one, so we just need 29. Ha, ah, I did not do the, my, so I need to grab that. I actually need to go and center it. Doesn't look like it is. It has to be dead on. You know, I can't really see if it is or not. You know what? I'm going to bring in indexing lines, and this is why I do. Uh, even though there's two guidelines there. See, we're off. So I need to bring that right to the, now it says center, so let's see if it does it again. We are. Now I'm going to rotate it. And we, you know what? It'd be so much easier and when you're doing this. You've already got the center. Let's just get rid of all this garbage. You know, we don't, we don't need this. I could have, I should have um, deleted all that stuff prior anyway. So now we can just grab our outline and you see the difference and put it to the top. And that was actually on the star. Now we can apply it. And look at that. You have the maple leaves kind of all the way around. And you could kind of do that with another, a couple other ways, but uh, to get it in that shape in this particular uh didn't really matter because the, they're not touching, uh, but it does make it kind of more uniform. So anyway, a bitmap will not do that. Uh, if you look, see this is our bitmap. We'll actually make it a little bit bigger. Let's go to effects, envelope, place inside form, and it doesn't do anything. It's still square because it's trying to bitmap the square. Anyway, see, so it's still a bitmap, and you're still going to get a color. You know, this is not going to be good for printing or engraving. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.